Just kind of go through the chronology from Aaron managing yesterday in Sarasota to the statement, the uh, announcement that you guys put out this afternoon. Uh, I, uh, well, I guess I'll turn the clock back a little bit. Uh, Booney uh, made me aware a few days ago uh, about what was going on in his world uh, from a health standpoint. And um, I think he referred in the statement, uh, obviously, to his heart procedure that he had, I believe it was 12 years ago. And uh, so he pointed out that he had been feeling some things along the way, and he's got the doctors involved, and, and uh, they've been running some tests, and everything has come back really well. Um, but they have recommended, um, you know, a pacemaker. And uh, so essentially, uh, you know, he said we're going to pick a date here sooner than later uh, to get that done. And, you know, of course, the Yankees' standpoint was, hey, whenever, you know, take the time, leave now, whenever's, you know, the best for you. You know, this situation secondary, obviously, as, as we all know, that, you know, we have these these jobs and every day walk of life, but nothing's more important than your health and your family. And um, and so he said, no, I think, you know, I think uh, whenever they give me the right slot, you know, we'll, we'll take get it taken care of. So uh, he let me know um, last night that uh, that today, obviously, he was going to uh, get it taken care of uh, and hopefully as early as today. And so that was that was for the most part the sequence of events. And um, you know, we look forward to getting him back. He put me real, he put me at ease, you know, uh, when he first told me uh, a number of days ago what was going on that, hey, with today's science, which is, you know, so incredibly impressive, uh, that, you know, this is an outpatient situation and you can be up and running within 24 to 48 hours and back to normal. And, and you know, just the way he communicated with me put me at ease. Uh, that, you know, if he's good, you know, I felt my takeaway was if he's really in a good place, then I'm in a good place, and you know, because all I care about is him, uh, and uh, all we care about is him. And so that was it. And so, uh, and then, I, you know, I really applaud him for, you know, being open with, you know, our fans through the press and just, you know, making everybody aware. It was a decision he didn't have to make, but he chose to, you know, to be very open and share what he's going through and um, not to put, you know, his players or or the team in a position of trying to, you know, no comment their way of why he's missing some games. Um, and he just, he, he was so comfortable with, you know, what he's going to be going through here this afternoon that, uh, that he was like, no, I, let's, you know, go ahead and, and share. Uh, and uh, I'll issue a statement, and I'll be back up and running at work. And um, and then, you know, to further answer your question, so we had a Zoom call. Every day we have a staff Zoom call in this COVID environment. You know, normally it would be we'd be a, in a group having a, a group meeting on a daily basis to start your day. Um, today that call was about 1230 uh, because we have a night game, and it was a Zoom call because of the pandemic. And this one was different because he was in the hospital bed, you know, on the Zoom call and uh, with the entire, you know, uh, coaching staff and, and front office to, you know, to go through the day's schedule. And obviously he opened up that call with explaining why, why he's there. Because uh, not, I'd say most of the people on the call weren't aware of what was going on and that he was going to miss a few days. And, and so he took that time to, to walk everybody through it. Um, and then, uh, and then, I'd say at one thirty, uh, Phil Nevin, um, you know, we had a player Zoom call, uh, which Mendy opened up with a conversation, Carlos Mendoza, uh, two of the staff and players on the call, and then uh, and then Phil Nevin spoke uh, and shared, uh, you know, everything that was going on, and then Aaron Boone had a video presentation that he shot from the hospital bed uh, that they played on the Zoom call for our players. Uh, and much, and the design of it was to put everybody in that call, also at ease, players and staff. Uh, you know, much like the conversation I had with Aaron Boone, you know, to, to assure everybody this has become a routine procedure, and and uh, it's just something that's necessary, and it's time to get it out of the way. And and I'll see you sooner than later. And everybody there just hold the fort down until I get back. And that was essentially the the sequence of events. And we can go next to Brendan Cuddy. Hey, Cash. So in his statement, Aaron mentioned this may just take him a, a few days to get back. Is is that your understanding? 
a week, two weeks, uh, and and also who takes over now his responsibilities. Uh, Carlos Mendoza will will uh, assume the duties of you know uh, you know of Booney in his absence right now. He's obviously running Major League Spring training, so he's you know heavily uh, running the show already, regardless. And um, and then I'm sorry, what was the other question? Oh, how long? Oh, just. Uh, Time frame. So uh, uh, the time frame, as I know, it could be as early as 48 to 72 hours, and if it takes later, so be it. You know, I just think uh, it. Uh, you know, I actually I got a lot of the feedback from from Aaron Boone, and I, I do like everybody, I'm sure, including yourselves. Do you go online? You Google search. You you, you watch the videos of of how the procedure works and and how people you know what goes on, and it's incredible. You know, uh, the amount of uh, the abilities these uh, the doctors uh, have created over the course of time to, to deal with problems uh, that people have and and so I watched a 10 minute video uh, about the procedure and then and then how people uh, you know come through the procedure and you know things that they might be dealing with in the short term but it was rather remarkable and yet they described 24 hours people are you know it's now patient situation and within 24 hours people kind of return to normal uh, and uh, so we'll see uh, you, you know there's a few levels of this you obviously want to, you know the, all we care about is making sure he's in a good place first and foremost uh, that he's healthy that uh, the pacemaker is working properly and that's what the doctors will dictate and, and determine and then um, and then obviously then you got to go through the intake testing and the COVID protocols and you know the return to play protocols so to speak even though he's a manager and whatever is best uh, and how uh, you know, they hand them back off to us, and when it's the time is right, you know, we'll be ready. It sounds like it's going to be a short-term thing. Uh, that's certainly everybody's expectations, and um, and we look forward to getting them back. And but I want to, uh, I do applaud him for being very open and honest, and 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 sharing uh, about the circumstances that he's going through right now, because it obviously um, it removes a lot of questions that would be harder to answer. You know, in his absence, obviously, because clearly. We have a night game tonight. Uh, I believe it's televised. Uh, maybe, maybe not. So either way, you know, you got the pre and post game stuff with our media uh, for our fans, and and things of that would have been interrupted. Plus, our players not realizing where he was or wasn't, and and for him to run to it and and share and be open with it, I think uh, again is very, it's very Aaron Boone like. He, he's a very open book and an honest and that's why he connects so well with everybody along the way and and uh, so we look forward to getting them back Thank you. we go next to Marley Rivera um hi cash cash what does it say about Aaron that it was important for him to do that zoom call the staff call from the hospital bed and sending that video uh, to the players yeah I think I just think it speaks to you know it's others first from his perspective i think his whole the way he goes about his business is it's about you know uh serving about service almost of others and and he wants to make sure that the steps he takes are the right on the right steps on behalf of of whether it's his coaching staff whether it's his players um you know the organization you know he he doesn't he thinks of himself last and not not necessarily first and so I think that uh, that's why he's such a good leader and I think that's why he commands the room and commands respect and connects with so many people because it's genuine it's it's who he is and uh, and that projects itself on a daily basis so I'm not surprised about you know obviously the strength and and uh, openness he's handled with this uh, health circumstance that he's uh, you know openly talking about as of today and and um, and I, I know that Again, the video messaging and the Zoom call that he had with everybody involved and the conversation he had with me a, a number of days ago, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, it just puts you at ease that, you know, he is really in a good place and he feels really good about this, he, you know, uh, and that, you know, hey, it's a necessary step. If you could avoid it, you'd avoid it. But it's something that's not avoidable and it needs to be taken care of. But he has no fear and, and, uh, and he knows he's in great hands. And, and it's just, a, you know, a temporary timeout. And uh, and he looks forward to getting back to doing what he does best uh, and doing what he loves, which is baseball. 